Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the super, super highly requested wardrobe basics video. I'm going to walk you through what basics you need to have in your closet in order to create the versatility that you're looking for. If you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please don't forget to also hit the little red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you come and join this community. And if you have not already, please feel welcome to come and hang out with me on all of my social channels. I will put the name somewhere up on the screen, which is just at Christy Russell for everything. Come hang out with me, especially on Instagram, as that is where I tend to be the most active. I just also wanted to thank all of you quickly because we just crossed 10,000 subscribers recently. So thank you all so much for your love and support. I so appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to like, watch, or comment on my videos. It does not go unnoticed. And and it just means the absolute world to me. Now the reason that I wanted to do a wardrobe basics video aside from you guys talking about how much you wanted it from my last video is because it is a topic of conversation that I do chat about with all of my clients when going through their closets as well. All of us want our closets to offer some kind of versatility for us. We want to make sure that our outfits mix and match and that we look effortlessly put together all the time. Now, I'm going to cover the seasonless basics here in this video. The other thing to keep in mind with basics is that some people you will hear talk about investing a lot of money into basics while others talk about where you can get them in the fast fashion realm. I am someone that sits right in the middle. I think you should just get the quality that you can afford. Always stick with your budget because you don't want to blow it and then feel lousy about what you've spent on a clothing item or an accessory. Always do the best quality that you can afford. And above all, make sure that you get the right fit for yourself. So don't buy something solely because it's a basic that you need and then it just looks like garbage on you. Make sure that you pay attention to the best fit if you get the best fit and you've got a fit that just looks absolutely stunning on you, you can make a $5 shirt look like it's worth $500. Now the first basic that I recommend for absolutely everyone is a basic dress. Now this dress in particular is from Boohoo. This is a super, super inexpensive basic. This is a basic t-shirt dress. I really don't think that something like this is worth a whole heck of a lot of money. It's this sort of polyester jersey blend if you will it's really super stretchy this will do well on any kind of body type i always say to size up though because this is also the type of fabric that can cling very easily so i recommend wearing spanx or something like that underneath if you want everything to be nice and smooth because it is just the nature of this fabric it grabs at everything but what i love about this type of dress is that you can easily dress it up and down and you can easily layer with it because it is a dress that's made up of simple lines there's no detail to it it hits about midi length so it comes down just before my calf and it's something that I could easily pair with sneakers and a leather jacket I could dress it up with some beautiful accessories and heels so for most body types this will work absolutely flawlessly and um, like I said it's from Boohoo so this one's really inexpensive now the next basic on my list is a classic white t-shirt I'm sure most of you have heard that white t-shirts are a great staple to have I think these are great regardless of your lifestyle whether you're a stay-at-home mama or whether you're a girl boss heading to work every day these are beautiful because again you can dress them up or down it's a neutral so it goes with absolutely everything and I'm sure, or maybe you guys haven't, but I did create a video on 50 ways that you can style a white t-shirt. So I'm gonna link that down below for you guys or I'll put a, a card somewhere up on the screen so you can click and go watch that if you want. Um, but for t-shirts, it really comes down to your personal preference and what you like out of a t-shirt. For me, I like ones that are, again, a little bit drapey because they give you that effortless street style vibe for when you want to do something casual with them. But they also look really beautiful when you tuck them into pencil skirts or other dressy items and you want to make them look more professional or elevated during the day or evening time. This one is from Dynamite. It is a Canadian company. I know you can order from them online. Absolutely love their basics simply because it has a long um, v-neck which is really flattering. The drape is fantastic and it's not a see-through white t-shirt like a lot of them can be. This one in particular is great because it also has a little bit of shape around the waistline which a lot of companies completely skip out on. Now next on the list are pencil skirts. Now pencil skirts are something that again you can dress up or down. It's a basic black skirt. I recommend getting them around your knee length or just above for the most professional look, for the most flattering look 
and for one that can be worn for any occasion. Now, depending on your lifestyle, you may not need a pencil skirt. Obviously, if you are a stay-at-home mom chasing around your kids, a pencil skirt is probably not practical. Um, but if you are going to opt for a pencil skirt, my suggestion, if you are someone that has a beautiful hip line, to opt for something such as um, a tapered uh, pencil skirt that sort of follows in towards your knee line. If you are someone that is a little bit more rectangular in the hip or doesn't have a lot of curve to the hip, then going for a straight or more rectangular cut will look absolutely sensational on you. Pencil skirts are such a classic though. They've been around forever. There are endless ways that you can style them. And I know that you guys saw that I had featured this in my capsule wardrobe video, I think it was, or maybe it was my white t-shirt video, I can't remember. But I will insert a couple of looks for you guys on how I had styled the pencil skirt so you can have a peek at that. It is such a professional staple, of course, as well. And if you guys want a wardrobe basics for the office, then please hit me up in the comments down below, let me know. Now, one of the most talked about wardrobe basics that I find is the most lacking in everyone's closet is your traditional white collared blouse. Now, some people, especially if they're in a more casual environment for their lifestyle, don't often gravitate towards this, especially now that we have a lot of the drapier blouses and tanks that have become available to us in retail stores. But a classic white blouse, when it fits well, just looks so good and effortless. Now, there are lots of ways to wear a classic white blouse. You can wear them with denim, you can wear them with ripped denim, you can put them with dress pants, you can put them with skirts, you can put them underneath dresses in the fall and winter time for layering as an option outside of jackets. They are just such a beautiful piece to have in your closet and you can either have them very tailored and fitted or you can have them nice and oversized. The biggest thing though, depending on whether you want oversized or fitted, is to watch the waistline in these. Because of trends recently, most white blouses become super oversized, they're super slouchy, but they offer zero shape. So anyone that has any kind of bust or any kind of shape to their hip line just looks like they've been swallowed in these pieces and it just doesn't really offer much of a silhouette. And if that is the look you are going for, if you want something slouchy and oversized and kind of shapeless, which is definitely a look, then all the power to you. I think that's amazing. Do you boo, always do what makes you feel most comfortable and most stylish. And the most classic wardrobe basic sense, I always recommend getting something with a little bit of tailoring. This one is actually from White House Black Market. This is a longer one because I'm quite tall, so I wanted something that would suit my height. Um, but this one has a beautiful shape to the waist. It cinches in so lovely when you wear it and is not a see-through top like a lot of them. And it's hard nowadays to find a white blouse that has that beautiful cut for that reason. A lot of them seem to lack in that department because they are just cut very straight. So don't settle for something. Always wait to find your perfect shape or silhouette. But I do find White House Black Market quite nice for those that are looking for a little bit of tapering along their waistline. They're absolutely beautiful. Nordstrom's also great for this as a Saks Fifth Avenue. So definitely have a look at some of those retailers and stores. I'm sure you'll find something. Now a massive wardrobe staple I'm sure you guys are probably aware of is your classic blue skinny jean. Now for this to be a classic and for one that offers a lot of versatility, get your denim as dark as possible. The darker your denim, the more versatility it will offer. Dark denim is so great from taking you from day to night. You can go from a basic black flat and throw on a beautiful metallic heel or a fun heel for the evening time and you will seamlessly transition from day to play. I cannot tell you how important a great pair of denim is but I know a lot of women have a really tough time finding the appropriate denim for them. So if you guys want a full video on how to find your perfect cut for denim, what to look for in denim, what kind of length to get in denim, every detail you could possibly want to know, then hit me up in the comments down below, let me know, and I will definitely put a very full detailed video together on how to easily find your perfect jean. Now one wardrobe basic I actually find is skipped over a lot is your traditional chambray shirt. Chambray shirts are very similar to the white classic blouse, except the material is obviously a little bit heavier and it has that sort of denim look to it. And just like we know denim jeans go with everything, chambray shirts, also go with everything. I love them because you can use them as layering garments over dresses. You can tie them around your waist really easily. You can tuck them into a pencil skirt and dress down a pencil skirt a little bit. Um, there's so many ways that you can wear these beautiful, beautiful shirts. Now a huge, huge wardrobe basic is a traditional leather jacket. Because they tend to be more of a staple and investment that you're putting into your closet because they come at a higher price point, I'm all for fit over trend. 
but this has a beautiful shape it cinches in beautifully at the waist and when I wear it it still has that nice slouchiness to it so although it's not our style because it suits my body type in particular it looks great on me but again what works well for me and what my style is personally may not work for you so go into a leather jacket store I love Janier in Canada or Rudsack I think they're absolutely beautiful um, but go into a retailer in the US or wherever you may be and try a bunch of them on see what flatters your body type and because it is more of an investment don't settle for anything less than perfect in terms of your shape trust me leather jackets are a dime a dozen they come out all the time same with vegan options if you prefer something that's cruelty free make sure that you get something that fits you like a glove because this is an investment piece that will last you years and years and years to come the next wardrobe staple is your traditional basic black dress pant now this one in particular is a skinny ankle pant lots of dress pants are available out there in skinny ankle cuts I highly recommend them because they're something that you can easily pop on with a pair of heels make it nice and professional if you put it on with a blazer or white blouse or any of your other shirts or tops that you may have in your closet but it can also look super cool and dress down when you have it with sneakers or a baseball cap or your leather jacket they are wonderful for transitioning from day to night or for using it weekend style and then dressing it up as well. Now the next wardrobe staple to look for is a traditional black blazer. Now a cut for a blazer will always vary from person to person. It entirely depends on your body type. Generally speaking though, I always recommend having the lapel of the blazer button up to just below your bust for the most elongating look with the lapel and to make it the most flattering look for a lapel. The key for the proper fitting blazer is to make sure that the shoulders fit. And I always talk to my clients about this because if you have a blazer that fits poorly, it really, really shows. Always get a blazer so that if you run your hand up the side of the blazer, it doesn't get caught in any shoulder pads. It doesn't like dig underneath a shoulder pad, which would show that it's too large for you. Um, always make sure that it's just flush and that your arm doesn't get caught on anything. The reason I stress the shoulder is because it's the most expensive thing on a garment to alter. So it'll run you 70 or $80 because your seamstress will have to pull apart the entire jacket just to fix the shoulder. If you at least have the shoulder right and maybe something in the waist is a bit off or under the bust doesn't have enough darting, then you can always take that to a tailor. That alteration will cost you $15, $20. It won't be a lot, but the shoulders are huge. <laughs> And again, black blazers are a dime a dozen. You can find them literally anywhere. This one that I wear religiously all the time, you guys have probably obnoxiously seen this in my videos far too often. This one is from Zara. They still have this jacket. It is the inverted lapel frock, I believe is what it's called, or inverted lapel coat, one of the two. Another layering item that is huge, huge, huge is a denim jacket. These are fantastic to put over top of sweaters. They're great to put over top of summer dresses. They're great as transitional items between between hot and cool seasons and they can take your most dressy pieces and instantly make them more casual or they just help create more of a cool elevated layered look when you're pairing them with some of your casual fabrics as well I always get it in sort of a mid-tone blue so it's not too too dark and it's also not too much of an acid wash something sort of in the middle is great so that when you do pair it with the darker denim that you have in your closet already as part of your basic that it won't be too matchy matchy with it creating the Canadian tuxedo look um, and if you want to wear it with lighter denim that you may have in your closet to play with then it also won't look too matchy matchy with that either the other wardrobe basic you guys want to go for is a traditional camisole now this is silk this is from club monaco this is called monaco recently actually so if you guys are looking for a great camisole they will be there for you um, but a camisole is a great layering basic because i recommend silk or some type of silk inspired fabric just because they look a little bit dressy you can put them up with your casual pieces and instantly look more elevated or you can put them with your dressier pieces and take your you know professional or evening wear and step it up a notch i think they look absolutely beautiful and the contrast with these shirts especially with beautiful cardigans and things like that i think just looks so snugly and just absolutely elegant i grabbed one in white it's great to have one in black i also have one in navy because to me navy is a neutral so having colors like that seamlessly blend transition and layer well with other items in your closet
it. You're still with me <laughs> if you stayed with me this long. <laughs> the very last wardrobe basic, in my opinion, is a traditional trench coat. Now trench coats, I know most say, if you read our magazine or something, they will say to get one in a beautiful camel color or black. Um, while I do agree with that statement, I think it can look a little dull or boring sometimes. So I picked up this one in a beautiful vanilla color. I love how this looks against spring summer colors, which is part of my color palette anyway. But I also love how this looks against darker colors in the fall and winter time, or maybe not the winter time, sorry, but in the fall time at least. I love putting this over dresses, over jeans and t-shirts, over anything, and just leaving it open as a nice long layering piece. I think it looks so beautiful. And if you get a, a trench coat that's in a nice traditional cut, you can really do any color under the sun that you want to make it um, inject a little color into your closet and to keep it current so it looks a little bit different from your traditional trench coat that you may see walking around or on the streets that most people have. Anyway, phew! <laughs> Did you guys make it with me? Are you at the end? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I was chatting for so long If you guys liked this video while you're watching it Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if there are any style and fashion related problems that you have in your closet or body type issues or if you want a Conversation about something, you know body image wise style wise fashion wise or that you want to see me explain in a video Then please comment down below I'm so open to suggestions and this channel wouldn't be possible without all of you guys So please feel more than welcome to comment down below I will be happy to create content that all of you want to see. Other than that, guys, I love you so very much. I hope you have the most amazing, amazing week. I love you so much, and I will see you soon. Mwah. See ya.